Hello everyone, this is Rhino coming at you with a new mini vlog. Today, myself and the Dangerous Darsto went up to Owensboro to check out a new, well new to us, microbrewery called Brew Bridge. Before we made our way up there though, we stuck around our hometown of Russellville to go grab some coffee. We stopped off at the Flying Pig over here, right off of the square, and we got ourselves some delicious coffee. Darsto got herself the Bigfoot, which was a amazing combination of flavors that just tasted like morning breakfast. I got my standard mocha, this time in ice form, because it was kind of warm out this morning. I also got a chocolate chip cookie, because I like sweets. But after visiting the Flying Pig, uh, we took 431 pretty much all the way up to Owensboro. On the way, we did stop off at a gas station and found this relic from a bygone era. Uh, it may not have been a working payphone, but just the fact that the stand was still there amazed me. I haven't seen one of these in almost 12 years. Heck, I'm pretty sure there's people alive right now that don't even know what it is we're talking about. But anyway, after finding uh, that time capsule, we continued on down 431 until we hit Owensboro and eventually made it to Brew uh, Bridge. When we got there, we ordered two flights um, to sample as many of their beers as what we could. And we started out with their 1947 American Light Lager. Darsto really liked this one. She gave it two thumbs up and I thought it was pretty good. I gave it one thumb up. Next, we had the Stefan Wheat Beer, which I really enjoyed. I gave it two thumbs up. Darsto gave it a one thumbs up. After that, we had the Wet Hop um, Pale Ale. Uh, both of us really enjoyed this one. We both gave it two thumbs up. Next up, we had the Great Communicator, and this one was really surprising to both of us. We both don't mind stouts, but they're not our favorite. But this thing was awesome. It tasted really good, lots of flavor, without being too heavy. We both uh, really enjoyed it and gave it two thumbs up. We then had the Split the Bill IPA. Sadly, I was really disappointed with this one. It was a very, very light IPA, which is not how I typically like them. But... Uh, Darsto actually enjoyed this one. She liked the light, refreshing flavor. So if you're used to really hoppy IPAs, this one isn't for you. It's more of a light one. But uh, I gave it a meh, and Darsto gave it a one thumbs up. We then had the Harvest Moon Wheat Beer. We both actually really enjoyed this one, and it got two thumbs up from both of us. After that, we had the Falsehood Lager, which was really delicious. That one got two thumbs up from both of us as well. But the thing that makes this lager interesting was it's not made with lager yeast, hence why it's called Falsehood. Really good beer though, really enjoyed that one. Lastly, we had the Apple Pie Sour. Now I am not a sour beer fan, never really liked them no matter how many of them I try. So that being said, I gave this one a meh, which is really good for me in sour beers. Um, Darst, on the other hand, who really does enjoy sour beers, loved this thing. She gave it a two thumbs up. With all of our beers properly sampled, we decided to order some food. Uh, Brew Bridge does have a pretty extensive menu. I ended up getting the Philly cheesesteak and Darso got the brew pub burger both were very yummy but after that we finished our beer and we hit the long road back all in all we did about 150 miles today and it was a very nice ride it was beautiful out it was very relaxing and 431 is a very fun road 
from Russellville all the way up to Owensboro. If you are enjoying my mini vlogs or just my content in general, please do me a huge favor and like, subscribe, and in the comments section, tell me what your favorite beer is. I hope you guys have a great rest of your week, and yeah, that's it. Y'all, be safe, have fun, go chase that horizon.